everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk on GaryVaynerchuk.com. Bear with me, this is going to be the greatest GaryVaynerchuk.com video ever made. I actually even almost made a PowerPoint presentation, and for a lot of you that know, I've keynoted 30, 40 conferences. I've never given a PowerPoint presentation, so I'm a little excited. My, you saw me make it. I did it with tabs in Firefox, um, but you know, at the end of the day, today was a very interesting day, so let's recap what happened today, and then let's talk about what we learned, okay? Here we go. What happened today? Corked was hacked. As you can see right now, it's watching Wine Library TV, because I'm clever. But Cork was hacked. Right, Mott? Right. right. Now, next, who hacked Corked? Mott? Adultfriendfinder.com. I think you can find some pretty interesting stuff there, Mott. That's by ear. So, kudos to the people there. But it was really somebody else who was using their affiliate program to adultfriendfinder.com. Next, what happened? TechCrunch, which is the best, what well, really my really one of the only sites I go to every day in the world, TechCrunch wrote about it. Good job by Robin, um, staying on top of it. So he wrote about it, people commented. So then I kind of became aware of the situation. I was with all my devs actually in here. We became aware of the situation. So what happened next was I do what you should always do in my opinion that if something negative happens in your world, you need to address the world. You can't wait for your PR people to come and talk a day later. You've got to be real and authentic. So what I did, Mott, was I left a video using Seismic on TechCrunch. Gary Vaynerchuk. By the way, I own Cork. Pausing that, Mott, because I said it once before at different conferences, TechCrunch, a massively visited website. They allow you to leave comments, but they also allow you, Mott, just capture this right here. They allow you to leave a video comment using Seismic. Okay? Um, I highly recommend anybody in the marketing, web 2.0, social media, business world, that if you live with in the world that has anything to do with the things that are talked about on TechCrunch, you should be on there every single day leaving a comment about a story because look, right there, you can see Mott, no matter where somebody is on TechCrunch, I'll even go just to show everybody why I believe in this so much. Yeah, we're having a good time here, Mott. So, you know, your latest comments on your video comments did he redesign, are they off now? Yeah, I think they might be actually. But video comments, oh no, there they are, boom. Right on the homepage, Mott, on the TechCrunch homepage, as you're scrolling around, there I am, as you can see. So let's say I talked about the this widget story, or the crunchies, or Google Street Views. If I did that every single day, if I did that every day, my face would get into that community and maybe I could build a brand. If I had my own blog, it's a killer, you gotta do it. But sorry, got a little sidetracked because I'm very excited. I was gonna do an entire GaryVaynerchuk.com about the Seismic TechCrunch thing, but I figured I'd sneak it in here, Mod. Anyway, I left the video, which I will link up in here. Just scroll Everybody's down below Gary my video right uh, now, I and there's a link to this. .com. I decided to jump in here. So I left the video. Let's see what happened after that. Matthew underneath said, best website owner response to a hack Ever. Honest, personal, humble, great stuff. Agreed. Now, what happened next, Mott? Next, right after posting that, kind of putting out the fire, being honest, I think you'll like the video. Please click the link below. I wrote on Twitter to the world, understand that my four developers who usually deal with Quark, since Quark's been in a dormant stage for a year, um, are working on other projects. Uh, Eric told me that we probably need about 10 to 15 hours to upgrade uh, the Rails on Cork to allow this not to happen again. So I wrote, anyone out there, a very good Rails coder that has eight to 10 hours for a small upgrade issue in exchange for whatever they need, at Gary Vimi as soon as possible. This is the power of Twitter now, right? Um, then, lots of different people responded. Lots and lots, multiple pages, Mott. Lots and lots, I can help you, I can help you. Can I be of any help? Thank you so much, BP Hogan. Lots of different people, then, Center Networks, Mr. Stern, my good friend, he's a giant fan like you, Mott. This is probably what got him going. Nice. Amazing that Gary Vee can't just pay a developer to help him fix the hacking instead of he wants to exchange. This is what Mr. Stern thought. Now, I love Alan, so, you know, I don't know why he's razzing me here, because he kind of knows me, but that's okay. I respect that. Um, but I didn't like it, so of course I had to then come back in. Mott, zooming in, I'm putting you to work. At Center Norks, thrilled to pay in money, Giants fan. That's like the meanest thing I thought I could say. Thrilled to pay in money, Giants fan. Just wanting to offer more personal opportunity. Time to look at things on the bright side. You know, I was saying, don't look at it the negative. Maybe I'm a positive. 
I figured, sure, I'll pay, but if somebody wanted business consulting, which I charge much more for than what this would have cost me, or if I could have helped with something, you know, a hug, I'm good at that. So, you know, whatever, whatever. So, next, what happened? Center Networks replied. Alan replied, Gary V, cool, glad to hear. Hope you get the problem corked soon. Get it corked. Nice little cute joke by Mr. Stern. So, I appreciate that. That made me feel better because I didn't want him to look down upon me. Then, what happened was, Miss Rogue, my, zoom in here. It's a beautiful picture of her. Let's give her a. Good shout out. Let's get right into there. Pretty picture of her. Anyway, Tara Hunt, who is awesome, said at Center Networks, at Gary Vee has enough woofy that he can either pay in cash or woofy. The woofy is more ra- uh, rela- relational, sorry, can't read, relational, less transactional. Now, Tara believes in the woofy factor. She wrote a book about this. It's really like your social equity, right? Um, very powerful statement, and what I really believe in, that's why I think we're so cuddly and friendly. You know, I believe that maybe cash isn't the biggest thing that a coder would want. Maybe I can help them in other ways. Anyway, then, what happened next, Mon? Ryan Cooter, right? Cooter. Cutter, right? Good old Ryan, show his face. Very nice, cute looking dude. Um, He said, Gary V, not only do we have, oops, not only do we have Rails guys, but we prefer woofy to cash. Your money is no good here. Just fascinating how the world is changing where people are borrowing more for, you know, maybe consult, I don't know, I don't, maybe they wanna play football, I don't, I don't know. But it's amazing that, you know, that was kind of where I vibe. And then finally, I thought it was very interesting that I miss Seismic bad, is what I thought, Mott. You know, I hadn't used the program Seismic, in a, the platform Seismic in a while, though I was a user maybe a year ago. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. And there is something else even missing from here, Ms. Vermont. Let's find it for everybody here. Um, let's go over here. Let's go here. I think this is quite fascinating. There is one other very fascinating part of this whole day that I've been living. Um, and that is, let me go into my inbox, and that is going on right here. Uh, Gary, I think we'll organize now, that as this is not the one. Go. Here we go. Gary, oh, that was... Now, this is Loic, the CEO of Seismic. Good to see you here. I'm in the middle of a meeting here with friends from Sun. This is Bob over there. Sun like right? this. And uh, this is Bob, too. We have two Look at this guy's hair. And, and, and Johan. And I'm so thrilled you're, uh, you're getting back in Seismic. I want really to make it work for you. I really want that like, like badly. And thanks <laughs> for uh, coming to the web as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk later. I have to go back to my uh, demo right now. But hey, thanks. So Loic was very happy. And, you know, here's some more stuff. People keep, keep sending me people that can help. And so now, friends, you saw everything that happened. Court got hacked. TechCrunch wrote about it. Could be a big PR nightmare. I jumped in. I was honest, told the truth. You know, juggling too many projects. That's on the back burner, though. Actually, it's kind of not a big spring-summer thing. And, uh, and then the community responded with a lot of people saying, best response to a hack ever. You know, a lot of good tweets about me being genuine. You just got to be truthful. You got to stand up and take responsibility. You can't wait for your PR company to come and, ro- and write your post a day later about the incident. You got to take control of your negativity just like you come out of the woodworks when you get positivity and go, right? You have to. And what else did we learn? We learned that negatives can turn into positives. Look at Seismic. The Seismic founder and CEO is thrilled that he got, you know, me, because I guess I have social media cred. You know, I mean, he gets a positive, right? He gets talked about. Um, Tara Hunt gets to talk about her core belief in social equity, the woofy factor. That's fascinating. I got mad at a Giants fan. That's fascinating. We learned that Twitter is a very powerful community where people come out and help. As a matter of fact, last night, there was a big thing that I followed and got involved with where we were donating for a family that was looking for a home uh, with three children. Lots of money raised. Powerful tool to build community. We also uh, learned lots of things. What else did we learn, Mont? I'm trying to think what else we learned. We learned seismic school. Uh, we, we just learned a whole lot that a negative can be turned into positive. In my opinion, I see lots and lots of positives from here. Tons. And on top of that, Cork is watching Wine Library TV, so Wine Library TV is getting some traffic. I mean, it's a win all around, folks. It's a win all around. Negatives don't have to stay negative. Be honest, be truthful, be very transparent, take ownership, and negatives can become positives. I had a wild day. Here's my question for you. Leave it in the comments. What was your day like?